most effective way to ease the symptoms of depression. And the good news is all of these workouts are relatively easy to access and they're open to beginners. Beth Galvin of the Fox Medical Team is here now to talk about this study. I want to hear this, Beth. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Dave, thank you for having me. Yeah, this study uh, was published in the British Medical Journal, or BMJ, um, and researchers looked at data from about just over 200 studies that looked at exercise and mood. And what they found was that there were, as you said, these four types of exercise. So we're talking about walking and jogging, but also yoga and strength training as the most effective researchers found at helping people who are are living with depression. Um, they found that, you know, the more intense the workout, the bigger the benefit, but low intensity workouts also seem to be, you know, to have some benefit too. And they found that really, you know, maybe the best combination may be something like medication or therapy and exercise for people who are dealing with depression, that that may be sort of your really your ultimate combination and more healthcare providers may want to be talking about exercise with their patients who are dealing with depression and anxiety, Dave. Wow, so looking at the, the way you're describing it, this is like all of us, if we're physically able, we can walk and we can do some yoga. Mm -hmm. What is it about those two exercises that can turn things around when it comes to symptoms of depression? So I think there's there's no one thing, and I think it's important to also say, you know, what works for you is going to be the exercise that is most enjoyable to you. So, you know, if you don't enjoy walking, you know, you're not going to get a whole lot of benefit right. out of walking. But if you look at, like, walking and jogging and you think about it, you're getting outside, you're getting some fresh air, you're with you know, you're in nature, that can all be helpful to your mood. If you're moving at a pretty good pace, you know, you're jogging along, you may be, your body's releasing endorphins, those feel good chemicals that can also help you cope with a, with a mood disorder. And if you look at something like yoga, you're doing uh, breathing exercises, you're, you're learning to meditate, you're doing stretching, all of those things can be helpful for people who have anxiety that is a part of depression. So, you know, you can see the benefits there and even strength training, you know, like like weightlifting or that kind of thing has been shown to be beneficial when it comes to boosting our mood overall. So again, Dave, it's going to be what you like to do, yeah. um, you know, and it, that may not be on this list of the top four that researchers found, but if it's something that you're able to access, something that you're able to do, it can be helpful if you're dealing with a mood disorder. Hey, Beth, real quick before you go, people who are depressed, it's hard for them to get motivated. What do you say to them to get through this? Well, I think researchers are, you know, know that and they say really any activity is better than nothing. So start really, really small on the days that you have a low mood and you're not feeling it. Maybe you just go around the block uh, for a walk, a real slow walk around the block. Maybe you do some yoga stretches. Um, just access it where you can. And even that little bit of exercise might be helpful, you know, in improving how you're feeling that day. Beth, you motivated me. Thank you. Beth Galvin of the Fox <laughs> Medical Team, thank you for joining us. Thank you.